Good morning and welcome to June 1st. June. We're in June. Actually start today with a supply run for material for the deck. So Ren's gonna start working on that. But the deck is gonna be 10 foot by 20 foot. So all the material is all 10 foot material. Which means front passenger seats gotta go. But first, this has gotta go. Yeah. Unload, remove the front seat, and then we'll be we'll be ready to go. She doesn't know what to think. Doesn't know what to think. We're always she getting a much the needed bath. Attention, but what the hell is happening right now? <laughs> it's warm water. Well, that's good. So at least in this cool breeze, she won't freeze. Okay, now it's time for soapy soap. Oh, thanks. It's all right. I'm dressed for it. And with dirty pants and a jacket I don't care about, you could do your best or your worst. Oh, oh there's the soap. This will make all the difference. Get those armpits. Do the armpits. <laughs> so she's like, oh, that's kind of nice. She's starting to like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> there's a massage involved. Ooh. Don't shake you. Wait out, wait it out. You can do it. You can do it. Some dogs have all the luck in the world. Alright, front seat's out. Ren's riding in tandem again. Yeah, we'll go do a supply run and then we'll come on back and get some work done. Well we got ourselves more stuff. This big yellow box that says the wall on it. Don't mind, don't mind that for now. A whole bunch of gravel, some 4x4, four four, oh. these block looking things. I know you're freezing. We'll fix it but, uh, anyway. That'll wait. That's actually going to be for the small the guest house. The small cabin. The guest house. Yeah. So, relax. Girl, it's okay. Relax. You're okay. She's I'm going to build a little doggy house in a minute. Yeah. So we've finally been affected by the volcano. Oh, right, yeah. The Those lava... $40 piers. Can't get them. Nope. <laughs> I, went to the, I went to Home Depot more organized than I've ever been. Yep. I drew up my plans for the deck. I figured out my list of materials. I was in. They didn't have any piers. Nope. So they've all been sold because people are making... Building quick sheds and quick shelters mm -hmm. because people have nowhere to put their stuff. Their yeah. houses are burning and they need to store their things. Yep. All the storage rental are full. Yeah. And so they're improvising. There's people that have been buying containers in Kona, shipping containers, bringing them over, putting them on the footings, cutting holes in them, making houses in a hurry. Yep. Because they got to do what they got to do. There's, I'm sure there's some people that are taking advantage of the situation, mm -hmm. creating yeah. rentals. Creating high-priced rentals. But nonetheless, there are no piers yep. uh, available. Yeah. And no pavers, like standard ground pavers mm -hmm. either. My let's build a deck. Yeah. As we've been... No. That's on pause. On pause. But yeah. the footings for the little guest house are smaller. Mm -hmm. Or can be smaller because it's a small space. Yeah. So... Yeah. That's what these supplies are for. Yeah. So this is like a like a, a step above what we did for the cottage. Yeah. Instead of doing that, which was a real pain in the butt. Yeah. It'll be piers and posts. With gravel. Yeah. But it'll be yeah. We'll clear out the spot. Gravel. Uh, these blocks are hollow. Which are yeah, and they're hollow. And then post inside, Posts. a little more gravel, and then concrete. concrete. So it'll be far easier to to do than what we did for the cottage. And it won't be leveling the piers. Yeah. I will put the posts in and level the house on the posts. Yes. So it'll, which be, it'll be far easier. easier. Far easier. Yeah. But also less expensive than right. the standard, you know, cast pier block with the yeah. straps in it and stuff. So. so off we go with that. Yep. And, and this then, Oh yeah. There is a there's a power tool that was my idea to buy. Yeah. This was not me. It was me. <laughs> um, because the Hawaiian no longer has a weed eater. Yeah. And we know from him clearing our 
space to get into the drive for the driveway to sort of plan things. The weed eater was the most fundamental tool he had, mm -hmm. but he no longer has one. No. Nope. And so, and he's cleared with a machete. Just, he does miraculous work with it, yeah. but it's still just hacked down yeah. uh, the thicket for the guest house. Yeah. And so, this will help me really take it down more and see like where are my holes and my lumps. Yep. Yeah. Clean it up a little bit. That'll be my job tomorrow. Um, yeah, all this is happening tomorrow. All of this? No, the first thing that's happening is me and a weed eater are going to yeah. get to know each other. And probably a shovel. Um, well, I, I should say we'll get started on all this stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, clear, get the site sort of prepped for like, okay, this is where the house is. we got to do the lines to say, mm -hmm. here's our square, all mm -hmm. of that. So there's still quite a lot to do before we actually get to use these blocks. We have to start somewhere. Yep. Yeah. This one I'm determined is going to, I'm going to try to actually have it be mostly my foundation. <laughs> because I didn't get to participate in that as much no. as um, Lervin did no. on, the, on, the ha on the studio. And I just want to build something. So <laughs> he's yeah. still Soffit Man. Yeah. I was going to do some today, but I'm not feeling it. Tired. <laughs> just not feeling it. I, he's like a day behind. Yesterday I was just bleh, <laughs> jet lag, groggy, sleepy, yeah. nauseous for a little while. Like, and I slept last good. night. Like I was asleep, yeah. sleep. Yeah, me too. But, um I don't feel like recovered, rested and recovered. Yeah, I think he's doing what I did yesterday. Because yeah. I'm okay now, but I'm still okay letting it just be a supply run prep day. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this, so today and tomorrow are probably going to be one video. Okay. Yeah, it'll probably be. Because there's not much of a video going, hey, we went shopping. Bye. Yeah, yeah. we went shopping. <laughs> well, we have a bunch of building supplies in, sadly, still in the studio. Mm -hmm. Just sort of in a pile by the front door, this whole area of yeah. supplies. That we just sort of shoved together because we were moving in. Mm -hmm. But we also have a big plastic bin that has not yet been used. And so we have that stuff we can go through and use that plastic bin in the house as the currently in in process tool bin. Yeah. Because we don't want to have to go all the way to the shed in the rain every time we want to do something. It's, no. just, it's easier to motivate when you just pick up a tool and go to work. Yep. And so we're going to have a tidy place to put that in a plastic bin with a lid in the house so that it's not the jumbled mess that it is but it is actually holding things that we want to use right now yep. which it's not currently yeah so we'll do some tidying up today maybe yeah we got some chain we'll, we'll chain the we'll chain up the grill so it won't walk away yeah we had a long link of chain yep. chain that crap to the house so it doesn't yeah. go i had planned on doing the deck and so it'd get tucked away on the deck no but we can't not today. do the deck because nope. we can't get supplies because nope. of lava Anyway, I'm going to go see if I can't build a little doggy house for this little doggy because it's been raining and she's trying to hang out under the house, which is weird and I don't, I don't quite trust her to be okay down in the rocks under there. It can't be comfortable. So off we go. The grill is now impervious to theft. It is now actually impossible for this to be taken. Completely. Yeah. It's the most secure system ever thought of by anyone ever. Let's just change the grill. <laughs> Impervious. Impervious. <laughs> and Ren's making a doghouse. Just did some uh, quick maintenance items. Hardwired. Uh, the GFCI outlet on the inverter kept uh, tripping, which was annoying because you have to actually go to the power shed to reset it. So I hardwired uh, an outlet to the AC out on the inverter. So we don't have that problem anymore. Fuel refuel the generator. But look what Ren has been up to. There's multiple goals with this project. First and foremost, of course, is a comfortable dry space for the puppy. Second is that I should not be inconvenienced in any way. <laughs> and by that I mean I didn't have to cut anything, I didn't measure anything, I didn't have to go very far for anything. <laughs> this is a puppy port, puppy house with a porch. Yeah. So. A little porch and everything. This is obviously very enclosed with a floor and a porch. And I'll put it in front of the house here, probably facing this way, porch facing our porch, because the prevailing wind. Yeah. Always comes like where I am yeah. towards my face. Yeah. And so she's been going way up, way up under the house. Yep. And it's just rocks, like 
what we're standing on, and it's very uncomfortable. And she doesn't have any fur, she's short hair pretty, so unless I want to get her a wardrobe, I gotta she's give over her a little watching you. <laughs> It's okay, Pearl, you're not in trouble. Although you are on the porch, and you're not supposed to yeah. be on the porch. I haven't figured that one out yet. She is a sweet, sweet dog. She smells infinitely better after her bath. She yeah. was incredibly patient through the bath. She stood there and let me do it. Probably still needs another one. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it was raining by the end, and then yeah. she's back out under the house. Yeah. I don't know what to do about that. So, her own little house, it is. So Pearl's got... house. Huh? Pearl's house. It's Pearl's house. House number two. I <laughs> I built this one alone. Yeah. I built alone and in what? Ten minutes? I don't know. 20, <laughs> Something like that. More like fifteen. But, <laughs> but yeah. it's got a porch. It has a porch. Front porch, so front just, awning. It's a covered porch. Yeah. This thing has a covered well, we didn't porch. Have that. No. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna put one more screw in here. Collar done. It's pretty flipping sturdy actually. It's got all kinds of interior reinforcement, so that if the wind blows, it won't actually just come apart. This may. But it's subfloor, uh, so it's really yeah, thick. It's, not, it's like three quarter inch. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Project of the day. <laughs> What's that show with Ty Pennington? It used to be big. And oh right, yeah. With extreme makeovers. Yeah. She's gone from living under a house. Uh huh. To having her own house. Having her own tiny with, home. With a lanai. She's all trendy. We can tow this behind the van. Oh yeah, put some wheels <laughs> on it. You bet. Little tiny house. Little tiny house. <laughs> so it is. It's currently 2.37 in the morning. We got up because the dog made some noise and we went out to check on her. But then we saw what we thought might be like a campfire in a neighboring property. But there's no neighboring properties close enough to us that we should have seen that. So since we were up, we thought we'd just go take a look at the volcano. We are in Mountain View Village, which is downhill from us, some miles, not terribly far, but some miles down the road. If you want to map it, we are just up the street from the Mountain View Post Office. And I don't know if you're getting this, but that is lava that we can see all these miles away. Can see it kind of spewing. Yeah, it grows and diminishes and grows and diminishes. We've never seen that up here before. From up here, we are a long way away. And that whole line, if you can, see, if it's visible on the camera, is the East Rift and the lava trying to make its way to the sea. To us, that view looks like a whole horizon line of orange, but it starts with a big orange bubble. That is crazy. All right, Saturday morning. Time to do some work. Rain's all prepped. I'm learning how to use my weed whacker. Yep. It's the new addition to the DeWalt tool set. She's gonna test the heck out of it today. I don't know how to replace the string. Oh. When I get that. It's gonna take some of this stuff here goes to the shed and is not immediately needed. I need to go to the shed and get some stuff to work on soffits. I need a ladder, circular saw, speed square, pencil, measuring tape. Yeah. So off to the shed. So the most difficult ones to install are going to be these ones that are just on the back, just over these sheds. I have to get creative with ladder work and reaching stuff just to get them up there. So we'll see how that works. Try not to fall off. All right, these three are in. The gaps are four panels that are going to be vented. I got the material for that. You cut holes and secure those panels, so those will go up a little later. So right now I'm just doing the the solid the solid pieces. But I'm past the two sheds. Those were a little annoying to put up. I'm past the two sheds so I can put the ladder up against the side of the house and reach all the rest of them. So, so keep going. That's all it is. 
measure, cut, screw it in. Boring, but this will this will be a, a nice upgrade. So I'll cut down on the draft. It's actually much cooler inside the house than outside, just because of the mass airflow that we've got. So I need to control that a little bit. Okay. It's my forehead. And the back side is is almost done. It's got all of the uh, just solid boards. None of the vents are in, so there's are still those are still gaps. But those will get done. I think I'm gonna move around to the front of the house. Okay, so here we are in the driveway. You can see the gate down there. If you come up to the driveway, there's a pretty flat area right here up until those big rocks. That would be a pretty good place to park along the side of our little road. So we decided that next to that parking space we should create a trail. So that's what we're doing. Hawaiian gave it a good first pass in digging out the trail and uh, clearing out what I've been calling a thicket for our first guest house. I've decided to give it a go myself and do as much as I can. So I've dug out the trail wider and also started scraping it down a bit more. This is actually lava rock that's pretty smooth. It's an ancient lava flow from Mauna Kea, which is our biggest mountain here. And then there's a little bit of step and then on some more smooth lava. And this is remarkably difficult, <laughs> but you can see, like this is just smooth rock. So we're going to work with the lava here and just help it, have it help us create a natural trail. There's some tree roots and things in this area that I'm going to have to cut through in order to get that trail to smooth out. So I couldn't dig as much right here as I'd wanted. So it's a little treacherous, but then here again you can see we're, bla we're back on smooth lava rock which really does work nicely for trails because it's not as slippery as you might expect it's got a little bit of a grit to it another root there we've come in from the drive we come around a little bit of a curve and it curves again and let's make sure because it's hot it's coming around and to this really pretty big opening which will be, this is elevated a bit, quite a, quite a bit ways up. I'll turn around in a minute and you can see how far down the driveway is. So this area here, we've only cut down a couple trees, but unfortunately a couple more will have to go. But that's all been cleared. This is where the guest house will be. And then this lower area has also been cleared. This big, lovely tree here. Earlier today, looked like that, just filled with brambles. So I'm hoping that now that he's been cleared out, he can really thrive because he's real strong. And as you go down into this, what will eventually be like a little front yard for the guest house, there's another real good sturdy tree over there. That one is really strong. All of these have been cleared of their brambles as well. But this guy and this guy are going to be hammock uh, trees. So we'll string a hammock in between. All this dead thatch down here, of course, will have to get cleared. But you can see that this is actually pretty private. I've still got a lot of, to do here. I've been, those are more of those dead brambles that I've been pulling out. But you can see that it's a pretty good area, and it feels really private in here. I estimate that the front door of this unit will face this way. This little baby tree isn't very healthy, so he may come down to create a beautiful view of this lovely one with the curving branches. But our driveway is out there. But you can barely tell. Our catchment is there, but that's okay. If you were sitting on the porch right here, and this would, once all that thatch is pulled out, it greens up, 
And there's a hammock there. That's not a bad view. Over the top there, you can see there's the shed roof. And the white is our cottage roof. I don't know that I'll have a window on that side. I'm not sure. We have to take out a couple of little tiny trees here. Just to get enough. This space is going to be, I decided I want it to be a 16 by 16 square. This will be an A-frame, a modified A-frame with so one side of the A. There will be a vertical wall so that the bed can kind of tuck in there with a full height ceiling with, so you don't bang your head when you get up. I think we've got the width of this thicket figured out. The sides don't need to be any wider, but it needs to go a bit deeper back there in order to create the square. The space itself won't actually be 16 by 16. The structure will be, but there will be a bit of a front porch covered on the front so you can sit out of the rain and look out at the green. Back to work. I've got my gloves over there. This is the tape reel, so I'm measuring my square. I think I'm, I've got to get back with my sickle there. That's what I pull the brambles with. See if I can work my way back. I'm going to have to buy a chainsaw because this beauty, as much as I love this tree, is right smack in the middle of the house. I tried really hard to find a space that I didn't have to cut down a tree. <laughs> but there just isn't one that's large enough. So. Oh, so that's the thicket. And there's the first of the two hammock trees finally cleared out so he can breathe. He's a good tree. All right, see ya. It's been a couple hours, Laura. And a couple more th feet cleared. A couple more feet, but all the way the width of the house. So I'm standing, I'm standing at the top of the trail that comes to this thicket. So if you came in, you would come up. It's going to have to be some terraced steps dug into this little hill here. Now you're up on the hill, and the start of the house will be right where I'm at, just about. These little trees here will be gone. they got to go this little guy here. We'll also have to go, but so this is, this is essentially the side of the house, and it'll pass along the back there, um, and then come up to about there. You can't tell on video, I'm sure. So I've also cleared this guy, these two trees. This yellow one is a mango, and the other is a nohia, because they were all choked up, and I think those may, this may be the view out the back window of the A-frame, and so I didn't want it to just be a clogged up mess like that. I want it to be pretty. You can see this is real soft earth, but let me back up a little. This here, that's a pig. Pigs digging their snouts in the dirt looking for grubs and worms. We had two pig trails that have been created coming into this thicket over the last probably few two weeks. One was there and the other was over here. So as I clear these brambles, let me show you. You'd be surprised how effective these pigs are in creating their own trails. That trail back there, that's a pig. So now this is blocked by all the brambles that I pulled out of there. So I created myself a bunch of tumbleweeds, but this is also, you can see back there where it's a little bit open, there was a pig trail that was coming up here. So block off those pig trails. I think this is essentially our opening for this little house. On the note of the pigs, for any of you who haven't been listening to our t amusement with the pigs around here, um, they are not um, carnivorous and they're not aggressive. They like their grubs and they like to get into people's vegetable gardens and that's about it. As long as you, and they're lazy. So if you block their trail, they'll just go somewhere else. They're too lazy to redig really it out. I've blocked trails before and it's worked. This pile of brambles over here, especially that trail was extremely well established. And so 
that was a big pile there and hopefully that will do the trick which I think it will all right I think that I'm done for today it's been four hours of rooting around in the mud and cutting things down and I'm bushed bye I don't know what's going on but I've been out of breath all day like we're at elevation or something so I don't know I'm probably it's probably just just a post vacation syndrome <laughs> Go lock up the front gate. I think I'll call it a day. I have six more plane boards to cut, but that can wait till tomorrow. Post shower. We showered. <laughs> we are able to just come in and shower. Yeah. I did, <laughs> I did really mucky, dirty, muddy work. And then I cleaned up. <laughs> what a novel idea. Right away. <laughs> like, I just came in the house and took a shower. <laughs> oh, that's never going to get old. No. <laughs> As you can see. Soffits. We have soffit panels in. There are a couple of holes. Those are where the vents are going to go. The front isn't quite done. Still got these to go through. I don't know. Today was very, uh, it was like tiring right away. Both of us were whining that, um, but we were just out of breath and it, mm -hmm. just everything felt hard today. Yeah, just yeah, trying probably. to get back to work and also just bad air quality. So Yeah, I think we didn't have good air quality today. Yeah. It wasn't so bad that it, because normally if it's foggy, it'll hit our sinuses real bad. And we know it. We get a headache and we didn't have that so much. Yeah. But I definitely was just like, why is this so hard? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we pushed through and did as much as we could, and then eventually we're just like, no, call it. Like, I was feeling lightheaded and stuff, and it's just like, nah. Yeah, you don't want to be lightheaded up on a ladder. Don't push too much. So, we'll, we'll adapt. Do some work, then do some more work, then more work, then more work. Then... Yeah, but it was wonderful to be able to come in and take a shower. I'm all clean. <laughs> Having a big eye. There you go. Hopefully that'll help my muscle mm, yeah. redevelopment. We'll do some tomorrow. Yep. I'll get back to it tomorrow. So yeah, that's that's update for today. Got some of the soffits done. She did a whole bunch of brush clearing and site prep for the cabin, the guest cabin. So Yep. Yeah. So we got some work done. It was a good day. Now we're gonna relax, kick back, and watch the big ass TV. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I spoil myself. <laughs> we were tired. Yeah, yeah. A big, huge bed, big TV, deep couch. We are couch. all about comfort in here. Love this couch. Uh, Ollie loves his couch Ollie loves too. it. Yep. He's yeah. <laughs> it's his couch. So. Okay. So, okay. We will see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. We. Did not go into town today at all. We could have. We could have, but decided not to. But don't need to. Don't need to don't that need bad. To. Which is great. So, yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow.